Hello everyone, in today's video we will be seeing of how to make a video calling app in MIT App Inventor. So let us search for the website MIT App Inventor. So over here let's click on MIT App Inventor and click on create apps. So let us wait until it loads and here you can see that these are my one of the projects and this is a normal MIT AMP inventor. Just close this one, do not show again and click on continue. So this was the last thing which we did over here. So but let us restart it. So let us go to projects, my projects. And let's start a new project. The project name will be MIT Video Calling App. Okay, Video Calling App. And click on OK or enter. And you can see that a new screen will be opening just like this one over here. So the next step is we will need a vertical arrangement. So for the vertical arrangement, let's scroll down and go to, okay, let me search for vertical, vertical arrangement and drag and drop this one over here. And, and the height, the width and the height will be apparent. And the height too. Will be full parent and click on OK. And next of all, uh, we will need an image. So for the image, this is our background, which let us search on Google. So just pattern image. So let's wait and play it loads. And over here we can see that there are different types of patterns, images. So let us use this one. Let me first save the image. Then copy it. So let's uh, paste it on the download itself. And over here, I'm going to add an image, upload file, choose file, go to downloads, and the latest one. So you can see automatically the image will be there in our background. So in the vertical arrangement, we will need a button, drag and drop it. And we'll also need a, a now on button and a text box. The text box. So this is for entering the meeting a code and join or create new meeting. So let us let us make it to the center. So just click on the text box one and let's move up so over here let us click on vertical arrangement here and uh, let it be center which leads to this one over here and we will also need a label which is called as or Let me capsulize it. And over here, 
you cannot change the font style okay just click on enter and you can see automatically the off will be here so let us uh, decorate our buttons and enter the text inside it let us the text color be like white and let us the background color would be black because we are going to give some a pretty bit back one so the same one here black and over here we'll also need the text color to be white so let's edit the text word button one which is nothing but join Come enter and let us be okay let us the width be some 23 percent you can okay okay pretty bad okay let us keep on 15 okay this is nice and next of all let's edit, uh, edit the button queue which is create new meeting And let us be capsulize. And enter. So you can see automatically the size is being aligned correctly. So now let us have a new vertical arrangement. So let us make it invisible. So to make it invisible, just go to vertical arrangement one and click on visible this option. That's it. So we will need another vertical arrangement, vertical arrangement two, which has been automatically renamed. And here also we will need the width as fill parent. Okay, after giving the with as fill parent, again give another fill parent in the height. So, which will be like this one. And we will also need an horizontal arrangement. horizontal arrangement over here and the high width alone should be fill parent okay and next of all we will need a vertical arrangement again okay and now let us make the width as fill parent but before that i think we will need to add an horizontal arrangement again two horizontal arrangement or another more one over here So now let us make the second arrangement, vertical arrangement um, to, okay, so let's first start with of this, okay, and this with fill parent, fill parent, okay, and the height is also as fill parent. Okay, and next of all, let's scroll down and uh, 
horizontal arrangement which you can see over here and now on tip if it is being selected you can see it automatically changes green select the width here be full parent okay and this is how it will be okay so after this let us let us add an, a button over here and automatically can see it automatically arrange it on its own self so the next we will also need another button over here just like this and let us change the text button and let us change the text as Share your meeting link. And enter. So, this can be also, okay, I think with the code, it will be just codes. So, let me give us ID. And now let us go back with it okay text edit the text button for four to back so back and share your meeting ID let the black on color will be black and see the text color will be white white and the button 3 over here will also be white in color and the background color will be black so there is the, all the thing you will have to decorate and let the horizontal arrangement under this and let us keep on center Okay, anyways, the center means center only, so that just like that. And we'll also need a text box in our horizontal arrangement one. And you can see the vertical arrangement has been become big, and a button over here. And let us change it to go. So. Let it be go and let uh, the color be black as usual and the, the color should be the text color should be white and let's make this horizontal arrangement center just like this and let us make the text box with a full parent okay so you can see it covered the whole text so now let us go to the software which will be using it which is for uh, the link custom web view so you can see that it will be on codula just do not go to any of them just click on that codula.io so let's open it And we will need to download it. And there will be this is all this all the codes will be there inside it. Okay, let me close this download. Okay. And you can see this this much blocks will be there. And you can see that the download in the six AIX file, just click on it, it will be opening in a new tab and go to file okay we have to just download it so let me download it okay so i think we will need the first one 
Ja, the custom web view. Ja, com dot sunny. This one. X again one. So let it lower. And here is it. So let us download it. And the download will be just open, downloaded in just a second. So, okay. Let me just click on re download it and open in a new tab. Okay, it's been again and again downloaded. So let us be just like that and we'll start off. Okay, and we'll need to import this extension over there. So go, let's go back to App Inventor. Scroll down. There will be extension. Import extension. Choose a file and the AX file which you've been downloaded. I can just drag and drop. So let me just drag and drop. And let me import. Let me close this tab, and you can see there will be three uh, extensions over here. So let us uh, leave this off, and we will see you in the next video. We will just continue. I think this is a big video, and I will see you the next time. And bye bye. And bye.